Hey guys, it's Bro you Whack, and welcome back to another top 5 video for Overwatch, still continuing on Season 2. Now if you guys have been watching this Season 2 series for a while, you would know that usually we always have two heroes that go head to head, and whoever wins between the two heroes from the poll that you guys vote with, I do a video on it for the following week. Well, I'm not doing that today. As you can tell by the title of the video, we're going to be looking at the top 5 worst event skins in Overwatch. Not the worst skins, because I already did that video, the top 5 worst event skins. Now, you might be wondering, bro, you whack, but why aren't you recording? We voted. We wanted to see this. Why aren't you? Well, okay, well, ch chill out for a second. I am on vacation right now, so that means that, yes, I do see the results, but I'm not in position to really record because, well, one, I'm on vacation, and two, I, I, I don't really have my equipment with me. So what I'm doing today is actually recording a little bit early so that I get you guys a top five video still every single Saturday. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Hopefully you don't get too mad at me, and hopefully you enjoy Enjoyed this week's top five video because it's a special one because like I said before I have done the top five worst skins in overwatch But I made sure not to include any event legendary skins because I wanted to make a video like this in the future Well, well the future is now so I, I guess we're gonna get it started But like I said before just keep in mind. This is all event legendary skins I don't want to see no vigilante skin with McCree I don't want to see no hopper skin or hippity hoppity skin with Lucio none of that these all come with specific events not including the blizzard world event because that's not really an event even though it is either way this is the top five worst event skins in overwatch and just to show that i'm not biased but this isn't the reason why i'm putting on this list i truly do think it's just not a great skin at number five it is going to be may's merry christmas skin the 2016 winter event is going to be started off our list so if you guys are new to me at all i am a may main i love may that Please don't hate me, okay? I'm afraid every single time I say that, people really do hate when, when I just bring that up. But I absolutely love May. That means I love a majority of her skins. A majority. The literally the only minority skin in here that I just do not like is the Mary skin. Now you have to look at it, look at the big picture, okay? The winter event is taking place. The little old bro you is so happy because he just got into Overwatch. He just found his main. May is about to get a skin and it's just a recoloration of her normal skin. With, with a hat thrown onto it. Oh, but bro, you whack. The ice block turns into a little snowman. And that's my biggest problem that I have, and I think along with the other people. Now, yes, I still love the concept of the skin, just this little simple Christmas hat and Christmas attire, but that's that, that's it for the skin itself the ice block if you want to say the ice block skin is cool then that's fine but the skin for may is so plain is so basic and there's nothing special about it nothing done to her gun other than the fact that they changed her colors to like red and green and still haven't changed the knob on it oh! Blizzard, it's almost 2019, and the knob for the Mary skin is still great. Even with the gold gun, can we please change it? But going back to the skin, this thing just caused a lot of controversy, but I think it was good for Blizzard because now you're seeing a lot better skins. There's still some bad event skins, which were probably going to be mentioned throughout the whole entire video, but this was the first really bad legendary skin that came to Overwatch. Beforehand, there was only the, 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 the Summer Games event and the Halloween event, and both events were semi-decent, but this one... Uh, so let's look at some of those awful <laughs> event skins. Taking the number four spot is going to be a skin that I don't even know why it's a legendary skin, but it's going to be Winston Specimen 28 skin. So I have three problems with this skin. First and foremost, this is a legendary skin. Oh, like, look, look at this. And then look at some other legendary skins in Overwatch. Do you really think this should cost you 3,000 credits? Because they this came out with the 2018 Archive event, and this cost you 3,000 credits. Okay, that's my first problem. The second problem is the fact that it just looks straight up boring. So I guess this is somewhat similar to number one. Y you should look at other legendary skins, even Winston legendary skins, and you'll notice that this is literally just different armor with a few wires on him. And they call this a legendary skin. The third problem I have with this is that it doesn't tell a story, rather than the fact that the story tells the skin. You see some skins in Overwatch that have somewhat of a backstory, or at least go deeper into the story of that hero. Widowmaker and her talent skin is a perfect example of how this is a backstory before she became cold-hearted or became a blue-skinned hero. And, well, she has normal skin. So that's really cool. With Winston Specimen 28 skin, it's the opposite way around. We know he's Specimen 28, 
and that tells the story of the skin. That might not make sense to you, but I at least appreciate a good backstory behind some skins, and this doesn't really have it, or at least I can't see it. So again, some people I, I think will agree with me on it that at least it's boring. They might not understand the story aspect and how it doesn't tell the story, but man, I, I just don't see myself or really even Winston Main spending 3,000 credits for this boring looking legendary skin. But now we're getting in the top three of some just awful, awful event skins. And taking the number three spot is a hero that I absolutely love, but it just, I have to put it on here. At number three, it's gonna be Soldier 76 Alpine skin. The 2017 winter event is gonna be taking the middle of this list. And this skin just, I don't get it, man. That's the best way I can put it. It's not like he looks totally like ugly, but he doesn't look cool. Like, this isn't something that's like, oh my god, he looks so amazing. He looks like he's gonna be. He doesn't have that kind of vibe when he's rocking this skin. I again, I don't really know how to put it. Like, I guess it's just the fact that he looks like a deflated marshmallow. Like, that, that's the best way I can describe what this looks like. It, it just has all white, a little bit of blue details. The gun doesn't look all that different. It looks like what the name implies, but... This isn't something I really wanted as a soldier man. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, I feel like you understand where I'm coming from. There's other stuff that I could be spending my 3,000 credits, and for this deflated marshmallow looking guy, it's just, it's not gonna do it for me. Not gonna do it for me this time. I'd rather just get the Grill Master skin. That's a legendary skin. This, such a letdown. Such a letdown. But let's talk about a quick honorable mention. This is literally gonna be quick because this skin. <laughs> For our honorable mention, it is going to be Zarya's Frosted Skin. This is going to be another 2016 winter exclusive skin. This is literally the same exact skin that she already had in the base game where she just has frost on her hair. 750 credits, buy it, please buy it for us. I think the 2016 winter event really just kicked it into gear for Blizzard and just motivated them to make us some really amazing skins. Cause it came out with Mary, it came out with that Lucio skin, it was all right. Then they came out with Frosted. It's literally the same exact skin, just with little f sprinkles. She has dandruff in her. Ugh. That's why it's an honorable mention. It's not fair to put it in the top five worst event skins because it's an epic skin, but. I just had to mention it, dog. <laughs> but now taking the number two spot is gonna be a very mixed skin. I feel like people actually really do like this skin. But at number two, it is gonna be McCree's ma magi ma Magistrate. Gosh, I just can't say the Chinese New Year skins. I'm already gonna get roasted enough for putting this skin on this list, but now y'all gonna roast me for pronouncing it wrong. So this is the 2018 Chinese New Year exclusive skin. And... <sighs> His attire looks awful. It just really doesn't fit him. When I think of McCree, I think of this B.A. American-born hero. This, he's wearing a skirt. <laughs> He's wearing a skirt, his boots look awkward, there's some weird wrist thing on his right hand, but his hat, his hat is the one thing that really just kills it for me. I don't know who authorized this, but it just looks straight up awful and just awkward. He looks awkward. Like if he wore this outside, like I'm probably being so arrogant and being so disrespectful for the Chinese culture. I'm not trying to, I'm, I'm really not, but you have to understand, McCree is an American cowboy and this, it just doesn't fit the Chinese culture vibe. I'm just, it just really doesn't fit him. His hat, his, his skirt, I like the fact that he's smoking a pipe rather than just a cigar, but still, this skin, it's just, uh, it's just awkward looking. That's all I can say, it's just awkward. But at number one, it took me so long and just countless debates with myself what to put at number one. At first, I almost had McCree skin, but taking the number one spot as the worst event skin in all of Overwatch, it is gonna be Torb's Ironclad skin. The 2017 Uprising event skin is gonna be the worst skin of all time. Let me explain why. First of all, this looks like a skin that you just can see on every single Overwatch thumbnail on YouTube that just has something to do with throwing or a Torb throwing or just something to do with Torbjorn just because he looks so awful and just so ugly which leads me into my second point he looks like a dad that just ate one too many chili dogs at a baseball game why would someone pay money or pay Overwatch credits to look like this you don't have to look like this. You don't have to look like you ate so many chili dogs. Leave that up to Sonic. And my third thing, which is even related to number two, is that this is a legendary skin. He got two legendary skins, both costing 3,000 credits for the Uprising event. Why? 
Why out of all the heroes in Overwatch did Torbjorn, Torbjorn, get two 3,000 credit legendary skins? It just blows my mind. And both of them don't even look that cool. At least with the Uprising uniform one, he looks presentable. This... <laughs> <laughs> there's nothing cool, there's nothing flashy, and I just, uh, Torbjorn is just such, like, <laughs> he's just such a laughable hero at this point. Even Torb mains are maining Torb just because he's such a meme. They understand he's a meme. That's why they get his golden gun and main them. I doubt there's someone that stands up to Torbjorn like, no, leave my son alone, you do not do that to him. Because otherwise, tell me in the comments and I'll give respect to your main. <laughs> but anyway guys, that's gonna do it for my list of the top 5 worst event skins in Overwatch. Please don't hate me because the whole point of these top 5 videos is just to have fun. And I'm just poking fun at some of these skins. It's not like I hate these heroes. In fact, I love Mei and Soldier Maker. I even love Torbjorn just because he's just, he just someone you just want to hold and just rattle around because he's so small and cute. So anyway guys, next week I will be doing the normal top 5 videos that you've been seeing every single Saturday or at least should be every single Saturday and we'll just continue on with season two so thank you so much for just supporting this series it's one of my favorites and I look forward to doing it every single week so I love you guys thank you guys for watching more Overwatch videos to come and bye